what's good? I'm Wednesday Marshall, aka the Swaggy Blurred, and welcome to another CPT review. This time, again, we're continuing on with the Indiana Jones series. I'm bringing you the Temple of Doom, man. Uh, now, for those that don't know what CPT is, you better go ahead and ask somebody. Uh, but, you know, for those that do, you know what it is. I, I, there's a lot of movies that I am late to seeing, some major pop culture reference movies, stuff like that. Uh, and this is me playing catch up, man. So uh, The Dial of Destiny came out last weekend. Um, and I had started the process of doing these reviews. I just got a little sidetracked with some uh, some personal uh, health issues going on. As y'all know, I got uh, dealing with my leg breaking and all that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, but, you know, I'm here. I'm wrapping up the rest of these. I did get a chance to watch all four of these movies before I saw The Dial of Destiny, um, uh, Raiders Temple, uh, Crystal Skull, or Crystal Kingdom, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, excuse me, uh, and Last Crusade before that one. Uh, so definitely check out all these as these drop. Uh, and be sure to hit that subscribe button uh, and notification bell so you get notifications when I'm doing these. But The Temple of Doom, it's the second one in the five movie indie series now. Um, and it is following Indy. Uh, he's in China doing a deal. Uh, ends up with the deal going sideways. And he ends up on a plane that ends up crash landing in India. And then he ends up with uh, the sidekicks of, of uh, Willie Scott, who was a singer in the lounge in China, who gets caught up in his nonsense. And then uh, Short Round, played by Ki Hui Kwan, where, uh, you know, which was such a touching moment to see Ki and uh, Harrison reunite when Ki won his uh, Oscar this past year. Um, so it follows the story of them, you know, going to this Indian village. The kids have been kidnapped uh, and enslaved. And they don't know where they are, as well as an artifact's been stolen. They ask Indy to go and find the artifact uh, and to return it. And it turns out there is a cult that is using the kids to uh, search for this mythical pit and these other mystical stones so they can summon their deity, their evil demon deity. Um, pretty much take over the world, kill colonizers, kill everything. That part, I guess, you know, the 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 you know Wakanda and me, everybody calling about it a colonizer. There's a part of that where I'm like, oh, okay, well. But there's just like some old dated stereotypes in here that just like I didn't fully rock with and whatnot. But I'll be honest with you, the reason I didn't really like this film is I really did not like Willie Scott. I I loathed that character. Um, and I say this because we're in the middle of an era when this comes out of Princess Leia is a thing. Marion just happened in Raiders. Um, you, you have so many like strong women that might still be damsels in distress that need, you know, the, the main hero to come in and, you know, throw a little support and get them out of a pinch. But Willie's just completely useless she just yells a lot she's constantly screaming and in terror and all that and it's just not an interesting character there's no growth from her she's just kind of having things happen to her the whole time as a matter of fact the only moment where i found willie uh and indy interesting uh indy's interesting throughout the movie but like where willie's interesting is they have a big flirtation moment um right before indy almost gets assassinated in his room whether, you know, you know, essentially being like, you couldn't handle all this cookie type, like, argument back and forth. I thought that that was really, like, sexy and fun and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, all right, I feel that. But otherwise, her constant screaming just bothered the hell out of me. Um, and Kiwi Kwan is, like, super cute and whatnot in it. But, like, same thing. There's, like, a little bit of, like, stereotype stuff kind of happening. And I get it. It's the times. It is what it is. So, you know, it didn't necessarily age as well. But just, like, with all of that, man... You had a lot of really good action set pieces, but with me not being able to jack in because I'm so like, God, this is bothering the shit out of me. I just did not enjoy it the way that I loved Raiders. I thought Raiders was absolutely phenomenal. Um, no complaints. Um, so this was I. Um, you know, I have other things to say about the other indie films that I'll get to that are going to be a little bit more like, okay. And it's pretty much aligns with what a lot of people have said about the, 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 the following films. But I'm excited to talk about Last Crusade. I'm excited to talk about Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, uh, and to continue all of this on, man. But once again, the one thing I have to say, and I have to give a lot of credit for, um, is I fully understand. Like I already knew Harrison Ford as like a major movie star. That, you know, an A-lister, honestly. Be, being Han Solo and Indiana Jones, you've hit that A-list status. And for those that are curious, when, when I say that and you're like, well, there's plenty of A-list actors. I actually had a friend tell me what their definition of an A-list was. Uh, and I've rocked with it ever since. Um, the analogy he gave me, my, my homie is uh, Chinese-American. Um, his parents immigrated here. 
if general American audiences, grandmas, know who an actor is, or at least have heard of their characters that they've played, and his grandmama over in China has heard of the actor, or at least the characters that they're playing, that's a true A-list actor. And what I mean by that is like, that's a very rare club. You're talking the Tom Hanks of the world, the Will Smiths of the world. Harrison Ford falls in that because he played two of the most iconic characters of all time that people around the globe are aware of. Um, those are the actors that you're talking about, actors and actresses that actually fall into that category. Um, and so, so all that being said, um, I understand why Harrison Ford got there. This man is smooth and a motherfucker. He's got that action kind of like mentality about him. And he really does a great job of carrying it through. And I felt that through all of the films. He, he doesn't miss a beat with his character. And that's never my complaint about any of the films. It's not Harrison Ford. He's phenomenal. Um, it's just other things that either do or don't work for me. And that's just me. And that's also seeing that as a 35-year-old when it's way past it came out versus if somebody saw that when they're 10, they're, you know, right when it comes out immediately or you're still 10 years old being like, check this out. This is, you know, this is your uncle's, this is your dad's, your mom's, uh, you know, favorite film. That's that you know that that does have a little bit of a difference, but I can still respect this filmmaker, and I can still respect and understand why this became one of the biggest franchises of all time. Uh, is is because like Harrison Ford's got the sauce, man. He really, really does, and 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 uh, you know Lucas and Spielberg teaming up has really brought a lot of good stuff out of it. But what do you think? Are you is Temple of Doom your favorite indie film? I don't know why it is, but maybe you, you really like Short Round that just really did it for you. you just kind of you know jacked in and then especially knowing with the goonies coming out too you really just kiwi kwan just did it for you and i get it he's a great actor um is it not your favorite leave me in the comments man let me know what you think uh i almost forgot before i wrap up if i had to give it a rating out of 10 i'll give it like a six five i i, I can't explain how much willie really bothered me like it is such a downgrade from Marion. it is such a major downgrade from Marion. um so yeah, uh, but yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you feel about Temple of Doom uh, and what other CPT reviews you want me to to get into, man. If I if I haven't seen it, I'm down to do it. If I have seen it, we might do a, you might you know we might rewatch it and whatnot. But I may not do a review on it, stuff like that. We'll see. Uh, but I want nothing but your love, man. To throw it down there in the comments and let me know what you think. Uh, and of course, if you haven't already, you got to reiterate again. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. I'm trying to get these numbers up, man, and I need your help. Uh, so please do that and let's keep it popping. And I got a lot of other great stuff on here. Breakfast AM News. Uh, I've been releasing some of those episodes as chopped up shorts because most of those tend to be about two minutes over on TikTok and Instagram. So I'm chopping it up. I'm putting the older videos up here so you can see those and putting the previous week's video up here as well. So please be sure to show some love with that. But with all that stuff, y'all, I got nothing but love for you. Uh, have a great rest of your week and I will see y'all next time. Peace. Peace.